Jose Rodriguez, aka the credit dude, seems like he's have had enough of Mr. DJ Envy, as now it's not only him getting sued, but DJ Envy is also suing the credit dude's wife. The credit dude recently posted this video on his Instagram showing his frustration. Yo, what's up, guys? So a lot of people are asking me what the fuck is going on with all this shit with me and Envy, right? So I've been speak I was speaking to seminars since December of 2018 the real estate seminars that they had, right? I'm speaking, I'm speaking, I'm speaking, you know, letting everybody know what's going on with the credit, you know, uh, giving education and things like that, thinking like it's a legit platform, thinking that everything is, is, is cool, right? Boom, so one day, Caesar invites me to his office and says, hey bro, how many clients do you have? I let him know how many clients I have. He's like, damn, so that many clients times X amount a month He's like, damn, bro, your business is doing pretty good. I'm like, yeah, bro, we've been putting in work. You know, you guys, I've been speaking on stage. You know, we've been, we've been in business, you know, 10 years, 11 years, whatever the case is. Only charging people if we get items deleted. And then uh, a week later, his assistant, uh, Benz, approaches me and says, hey, uh, Envy wants to be an owner of your business. And I'm like, well, what does that even mean? Like, and I'm like, oh, shit, like DJ Envy wants to be a part of my business. DJ Envy wants to partner with me i'm like what does that look like he's like well he doesn't want to pay anything but he wants to come into your business as a 25 percent owner and pretty much continue helping you you know with your business i'm like okay well what does that look like he's like well we're gonna promote you here we're gonna do this put you on the breakfast club which come to find out that shit is payola on his end because i was paying him to uh not realizing it to be on the radio Right? And he's like, oh, we're going to blow your business up. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to fucking take your business to the next level. Meanwhile, I'm already growing. You know, whatever the case is. As soon as we signed the contract, September 2020, this motherfucker acting like it, 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 he, he can't fucking promote me. Right? I'm like, bro, I thought it was a part of the deal for you to promote me, for you to do this. One post here or there. One post here or there. One post here or there post here post there and i'm like yo bro like what's going on man like i thought you were supposed to you know let people know that we're in business with this and he's like i don't gotta do that shit i thought you don't i don't think you remember the agreement we had i don't care about your company uh and i'm like yeah bro but you're promoting caesar you're promoting the weed business you're doing this you're doing that and you know caesar isn't you know doing this because that's when i also found out that he that so that's when caesar uh scammed me may uh, i invested with him may of 2022 August of 2022, I realized and found out that he would he got me for the 150. So then I'm like, well, how come you're promoting Caesar more than me? How, and you know he got me, and you still not promoting me. And that's when me and him got in a fucking argument. That's when he made that fucking audio clip that he made EYL, that he made Matt, that he made fucking me. Man, fuck that bitch, yo. You ain't make shit. Motherfucker gonna sit here and say he made EYL. He gonna sit here and take credit for EYL. He gonna sit here and say that he 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 made Matt the mortgage guy. He gonna sit here and say he made got credit and made the credit dude. Motherfucker, you can't even make your wife come. And you're gonna fucking sit here and tell me that you made the credit dude. Man, fuck you, all right? This dude gonna block my calls, gonna sue me because I exposed him with the fucking thing. That's the shit I'm on right now, MB. Fuck you. You're gonna sit here and sue me and you're gonna sit here and hide behind the phone. What's up, bro? You wanna go to court? You wanna fucking sue me? I can't wait for the day that people fucking realize the piece of shit that you fucking are, bro. Because the minute, the minute we made that agreement, you made me hire your fucking assistant. You made me hire your fucking assistant and I was fucking paying her mad bread. She wouldn't have bought that fucking house if it wasn't for me. Because your ass didn't even fucking have her on payroll because your bitch ass didn't even got a real fucking company. You feel me? You feel me with your fake ass fucking DJ auto, your fake ass car show, whatever the fuck you doing with that whack ass car show, right? So then as soon as I fire her for not doing shit, you get fucking mad and you clearly even fucking told me you were upset, right? So since everybody wants to hide and everybody, nobody wants to fucking talk about what the fuck is really going on, I, I fucking made you an owner. Listen, you said you made the credit dude. Motherfucker, don't forget, I made you a fucking owner in my business, right? And you want to sit here and tell people, oh, oh, credit dude crazy. Credit dude got this. Credit dude got that. I'm owning this business. Motherfucker, you telling people behind closed doors you, you're a part of my business, motherfucker? You wish you can be got credit, motherfucker. You wish you can be got credit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Got credit was here before you, motherfucker. You ain't make me. You ain't make me. You know what I mean? And I hope somebody shows you this fucking video, bitch gonna sit here and tell me you fucking made got credit and i wouldn't be where i'm at motherfucker where about your own shit where about your own family 
You sit here telling Tyrese, knowing he got mental problems and mental, you know, uh, mental going on, you're gonna sit here and tell him you're gonna box him in the mouth. Know that shit. I wish he would've said that to you when he was fucking going through your shit with your wife. You know, you wanna sue my wife when Kelly ain't got nothing to do with this. You wanna include her in the lawsuit. You wanna include everybody else. Like you said, you ain't pointing fingers at yourself, you pussy. You fucking bitch. You know what I mean? You wanna hide behind a fucking radio and you don't wanna face this shit like a man. That's the fucking problem, bro. Everybody thinks DJ Envy, man, fuck a DJ Envy, bro. Fucking DJ Shrimp. I wonder why you changed your name to DJ Shrimp, bro. It was all in your book, motherfucker. You made a book about you not being able to make your wife come. Sounds about right, bitch. Now, can't wait till your ass is out my fucking business until your ass is fucking in jail because you're a fucking piece of shit, DJ MV. DJ MV. Man, shut the fuck up, pussy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And by the way, um, I paid you $550,000 in a matter of two and a half years. But supposedly Caesar owes you 500,000, but you sued me, your business partner? That's a bitch move, bro. That's a bitch fucking move. And you're gonna sit here and say, I'm bugging because you said you fucking made me and you created me. Motherfucker, your last car show had like 18 people, bro. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Now, credit to him, I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason why DJ Envy probably hasn't sued Caesar at this point is because Caesar's probably not the guy that he wants to have on his bad side at this point. I don't think DJ Envy wants Caesar saying that DJ Envy had any knowledge of anything that Caesar had going on. If you ask me, Caesar's probably getting a little percentage off of this deal that DJ Envy and the credit do have because if it wasn't for caesar dj envy would have never known of how many people were signed up to the credit dues program and how much money he was bringing in yearly i mean let's be honest the only reason why dj envy's assistant made that phone call is because dj envy probably did the numbers and said and i could just become a business partner of this guy's business without investing a single dollar and make a quarter million dollars a year while i do nothing now the crazy thing is that dj envy did use his influence and the radio station to help orchestrate this deal by telling the credit dude that he was gonna promote him. Well, according to the credit dude, from what he said in a previous video, in the fine print of the contract, DJ Envy put that he may promote his business, not that he actually had to, but he still brought the credit dude up to the, to the breakfast club and actually charged him, according to the credit dude. So if DJ Envy charged the credit dude to bring him up to the breakfast club to promote his business, weren't they supposed to let the audience know that that was paid advertisement? Get him out of here! I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This situation is just getting more interesting and interesting, man. I'm gonna keep you guys updated, man. Peace.